Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to clean or optimize a file for our tablets. I went ahead and uploaded a DWG file and it opened up like this. I didn't really get to see a lot of work uh, or line work on that file. So I'm going to either type in the word zoom extents or I can come over here and actually just push zoom extents. And what that did was it just shows basically all the line work in the file. I notice here's my file right here and I have some weird circles. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit and delete them. I'm going to click here and push delete and then I'm going to move over click here and press delete and then again I'm just going to go ahead and tap zoom extents right here now we have the actual project in view and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning or optimizing so the first thing I'm going to do is type the letters Q S and press enter and what we're looking for is object type there's a multiple object types that we can look for but we're going to focus on hatch polyline and block reference for now I'm going to go ahead and select hatch go to select all and then press OK and then I'm going to type the word delete and I'm going to press enter then I'm going to type in the letters Q S enter and same thing now we're going to be looking for block reference I'm going to go ahead and select all and press OK this time I'm going to type in the letter X and enter and then for the third time I will type in Q and S enter object type I'm looking for polyline now and I'm going to push select all OK and then I'm going to type the letter X perfect the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go control a to highlight the whole project and we're going to type in the word overkill and press enter and then we're going to make sure the tolerance actually is at one zero 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 and then we're going to make sure this is unchecked this is checked these two are unchecked and the remaining three are checked and we're going to push OK and notice how it says 5068 we want this to say zero so we just repeat this process until it says zero control a overkill and again everything is set how I wanted it to press OK and now we have one Let's see if we can get rid of that one control a and overkill again and press OK and now we're at zero excellent next thing we're going to do is we're going to type the word purge and press enter and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go purge all and then I'm going to do purge all items and then I push close and then if I wanted to uh, if I want to change some layers or um, colors I'm basically going to make sure I can see my layers right here in the home tab and say that I wanted to maybe get rid of this I don't need to see this I'm just going to click on it and it actually will change the layer for me I'm going to click it and then it should be the first one or it should be highlighted for you I'm just going to turn that off so I can clean a little bit up if I don't want to see it basically it doesn't delete it you can just turn it back on or off let's do this one more time for maybe I don't want to see uh, these this green text I'm going to go ahead and open that up and there it is highlighted for me and I'm going to turn it off all right the last thing we're going to do is W block so what I'm going to do just to get ahead of myself I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the line work that I want and then I'm going to type in the word WB and it should show up I'm going to press enter and if you forget to highlight this you can just push selected objects this will go away you highlight press enter and it'll come back to the same screen uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just change this last part of the name to maybe cleaned I could type in optimize or the the name of this project and I can change it to go to whatever file path I want right now it's just going to my desktop and then for future reference uh, it shows the units uh, of measurement that it's in currently this is in inches so if I import this into a tablet and the tablet ask me what are the units of measurement or what are the dimensions in I know it's in inches so it's just a, a frame of reference for you I'm gonna go ahead and push OK perfect I am ready to uh, put this into my tablet or uh, add it to another software to edit even more. Thank you very much.